Hey guys, Jason here at uh, Rim Geeks and JMT Labs. Just wanted to give a quick tutorial on how to backup, wipe, load, and restore an operating system and third party apps using BlackBerry Swiss Army Knife version 1.6. So, we're going to start off basic. Uh, to open the app, go to your start menu, go to computer or my computer, depending upon your operating system, go to your local disk, usually your C drive. And um, it's going to be located in the Programs file, Program Files folder if you have Windows 32-bit. And as you can see, if you have Windows 64-bit, you will have the x86 folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and it will be located in the BBSAK folder. For those of you running Windows Vista or Windows 7, you're going to want to right-click on the application and run as administrator. This is going to save you a lot of hassle down the line. So we're going to go ahead and click Yes. And now is when you want to plug in your BlackBerry. So I've plugged in my Storm. And if you have a password on your BlackBerry, you want to type it in here. I do not, so I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. It's going to read a couple of um, files off your phone just to grab some information. And here we go. It tells you that you have a Storm, as you can see, your PIN number. And if you had a password, it would show your password here. So as you can see, we have the new layout with the uh, tab browsing. So in this tutorial, I'm going to give an overview on how to do a backup of your third-party apps. Again, BBSAK will not back up your PIM information. That includes contacts, calendar information, settings, etc. It will only back up third-party applications. So to do so, we're going to click on the Backup Apps button. If you have done another backup in the past using BBSAK, previous versions 1.6 does not matter. You will get a pop-up telling you that you need to rename the existing backup folder before proceeding. So we're going to click OK. It's going to take us to a pop-up of BBSAK folder. Here you can see the backup and backups that I've made in the past. So for this purpose, I'm just going to go ahead and erase it. If you want to, you can rename it, save it for later, just in case something happens to go wrong. I'm going to go ahead and erase it because I have other backups. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and click the backup button again, and it will pop up saying that you have a, the BlackBerry screen may flash during backup. So we're going to go ahead and click OK, and your BlackBerry screen will begin to flash. The progress bar at the bottom of the screen will begin to fill, and you will see the applications that it is backing up start to show up in a list, as you can see, file lock right there. I'm just going to let this go. shouldn't take very long. I only have three apps installed on my phone. Once it is finished, it will have a pop-up telling you that it is finished, which we will see right here. Third-party apps backup is complete. So now that that's completed, we can go ahead and click OK, and it will bring us back to the compacted view. Now, here's where you're going to want to install any OS that you're going to want to put on your phone, whether it is a official release or a beta release or a hybrid. Go ahead and install that on your PC now using the EXEs provided, whether it be from BlackBerry.com or from other sources to get the betas. So once you have that installed on your phone, as I do, you can. we're going to want to wipe your device. So we're going to go ahead and click Wipe Device, and it will give you a pop-up saying, are you sure you want to do this? Here's where you want to click Yes. This is going to wipe your operating system, your contacts, your applications, everything. It is going to basically format your phone. It will not affect your memory card, so that is okay. Media card will be okay. We'll have nothing of any effect to that card. So keep in mind before you do this that you need to back up your contacts if you haven't already. If you have not already, click no, go to the BlackBerry Desktop Manager and run a backup to save your contacts and other information. So you're going to click yes. I'm going to click no because I don't want to wipe my device. So click yes. Your phone is going to start to blink. You'll see an hourglass. It will reboot. And when the screen comes back, it will show a 507 error. This is good. This means you have wiped your device successfully. And now it has no OS, no apps, no, no information, nothing. So we are ready to load the operating system that you have already loaded onto your PC onto your phone. So to do so, we're going to click the load OS button. This is going to launch the Loader EXE or the Application Loader Wizard provided to you by BlackBerry Desktop Manager. So once we have this, we're going to go ahead and click Next. 
It's going to find your PIN as you see here. Click next again. It's going to read information off your phone. And it's going to check your computer for um, OSs that you've installed on it. And once everything's ready, you're going to get another screen that has a bunch of pop-up, has a bunch of checkboxes. And when we get there, I'll show you what to do next. Usually it takes about 30 seconds to a minute to accomplish this. All right, here we go. So once you're here, you can go through and you can see, check the boxes that you want. This is all the apps that will be installed on your phone. Okay, so before we go on, I'm going to show you the add button. So if you want to add your applications that we just backed up, the third-party apps during install, go ahead and click add, and you can navigate. I'll just back out so you can see. Navigate back to the same exact folder, program files, BBSAK. This time it's going to be in the backup folder, and there's your backup ALX. So you can go ahead and open that. So this will install all of the applications with your OS. This is a good thing. Sometimes you'll get an error that says it's not compatible. If that happens, don't worry. You haven't lost anything. We'll just back it up later on. So you're going to go ahead and click next, and it's going to show you what it's going to be doing. And then you can go ahead and click finish. I'm going to click cancel because I'm not going to load anything today. But once you click finish, it's going to start loading stuff on your phone. You'll get a bunch of progress bars, and then it will say complete. Your phone will continue to hourglass for up to 20 minutes. This is okay. Just have patience. Everything will work. I promise. Okay, so once you have your new your your new OS loaded, your phone's back up and running, you're back to your home screen, we have a couple of options. First, you can either go to the desktop manager, load your contacts, load all that information. You can go there and you can restore your third-party apps via the BlackBerry desktop application. Or we have brought back to you the restore apps feature. The restore apps feature is very simple. You just click it, and it will tell you that it's restoring, it's restored your apps. Your phone may or may not restart. Usually it will. Just click OK. Let a phone do its thing. When it comes back on, all your third-party apps will be installed. But here is a quick warning. The way the apps are installed, it will install all apps under the name BBSAK Backup in the Applications menu of your phone. So to delete the apps, you will need to use... BBSAK to remove applications one by one. Deleting the BBSAK application out of the application folder on your device will remove every app in the restore. Once that's done, your phone's rebooted, it's back on, everything should be up and running. Good luck, guys.